Hi everybody, welcome to Cut the Kibble. If you're new to my channel, my name is Paula and this is Miss Bella, my 13 year old Bichon that I've been home cooking for since she was five months because my vet told me to do it because she was getting really sick. So today I'm going to do a treat for you. Um, if you do not follow me on my free Substack newsletter, please do because I have published a pumpkin treat on there. And today I'm going to do a sardine treat. Now, why do I do these treats and why do I like them? Well, I like these treats because I have control of, of every single ingredient that's gonna go into this little 14 pound body. There's not gonna be any artificial flavors. There's not gonna be any natural flavors. There's not gonna be any sugar. Uh, there's not gonna be any uh, artificial sweeteners or guar gum or any of that crap. It's just gonna be real food. I'm all about real ingredients for my dog. And when do I use these treats? Well, <clears throat> these are soft treats, and I like soft treats because Bella is a very anxious dog at times, and she does get um, stress-induced IBS. But right before she goes to the groomer, and she goes to her groomer every, uh, every five to six weeks, I give her some Rescue Remedy. It's a, a dropper and you're supposed to, supposed to put it in their mouth. I can't do that, she'll bite my fingers off. But I put it on a soft treat that I make. So my treat is like spun, spongy type, kind of like spongy. So the four drops get absorbed into the treat. I give her that 20 minutes before we go on the car ride. And it just takes the, the chill out of her and she could chillax. <laughs> um, I also give her one of these treats, these spongy treats, right before bedtime. And why do I do that? A lot of dogs in the morning, they will uh, vomit up yellow foamy stuff. It's not food, it's just yellow foamy stuff. And that is just acid that builds up in their tummy during the night. So to prevent that, right before bedtime, we have a routine, she gets one of these treats. <clears throat> And anyway, so that's why I make these trees. But more importantly, it's just, I want to make sure what ingredients go in it. So we're going to get right to it now. Let me show you how I make these sardine treats. You ready to help, Bella? One more thing before I start. Please subscribe to my free newsletter. I will have it linked in comments below with this exact recipe. When I do treats, I just wing it. And so you can watch the video, but after the end of the video, I will go back and evaluate and see if I need to add or take out. But I will have the exact video on my sub stack. All right, let's get cooking. Okay, the first ingredient I'm gonna put into my uh, recipe, you need to have some kind of something, substance to keep it all together. And I'm putting in and oat flour. I do not use rice flour, corn flour, wheat flour, white, whatever. I use oat flour and I make my own. I buy these uh, organic non-GMO oats um, at Costco. This is the actual label, but it's in a bag. I just put it into this container. Um, and I'm gonna start out with one and a half cups what I did off video, uh, actually a few weeks ago, is that I got the oats and I put it in my Vitamix and I made a flour. So look, let me show you what the consistency of it. You see that? It's great, I love my Vitamix. All right, so that's one and a half cups. At the end, I will evaluate to see if I need to put more flour in. And the next thing I'm gonna put in is my cut the kibble Omega Busta, but I always talk about, and I'm gonna do one tablespoon. I keep this in my fridge or freezer. It's a mixture, again, through my Vitamix, of 
uh, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, and hemp hearts. All right, and this is gonna go in. <clears throat> and then I need to um, put in some blueberries. This is probably like a quarter of a cup of blueberries. I buy my blueberries frozen. I don't buy fresh blueberries for myself even anymore. They just go bad so quickly. And I should have, I need a crack an egg here. I'm gonna use this same container. I'm gonna get an egg. You know, I use pasture raised eggs when I can and I have three dozen of pasture raised eggs downstairs. But these are just organic eggs um, egg that I'm using right now. So I'm gonna put that in here. Okay, if you don't know the difference between a conventional egg, cage-free eggs, brown eggs, organic eggs, and pasture eggs, you need to learn the difference. The best eggs to get, if you can, are pasture-raised eggs. A happy chicken is a healthy chicken. And if they're out there foraging in the sunlight, they're gonna produce good eggs. And now I'm gonna add, speaking of good, is some of my bone broth that I've made. This is um, of uh, grass-fed beef. Oh, goodness, somebody's at the door. I'm gonna have to stop here and put two tablespoons in. And let me stop, we'll be right back. Okay, I'm sorry, that was a neighbor dropping off a little Christmas gift. So I put the two uh, tablespoons of bone broth in here. Um, if you don't have bone broth, you could just use a little plain yogurt. Let me talk to you about bone broth for a little bit. Look, it's not that hard to make. You could look at my playlist on YouTube. I have a bunch of playlists and it's sorted by topic. And I have one on bone broth, how to make it. It's really easy if you have a slow cooker. You basically set it and forget it. You can buy bone broth, a primal, P primal, P-R-I-M-A-L, they sell a good one. You can get that at um, uh, pet food stores. It's in the frozen department. I would defrost it and put it in ice cube trays and put it back in the freezer. But you know, some of these online places, they, they're selling bone broth for a ridiculous amount of money. Don't get sucked into that stuff. Bone broth should not be that expensive. And it's very easy to make. And it's so good for your dog. For, for joints, um, for uh, an aging dog, and for the gut. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. So getting back to here, the last thing I'm going to add are sardines, okay? I get my sardines at Trader Joe's and they're in water. And these sardines come from Canada. Do not buy sardines that uh, are in oil. I don't even care if it's, uh, uh, olive oil. Do not buy it. Get it in water, okay? So I'm going to put this whole can of sardines in here, and I have to give my sous chef a little bit. Bella gets sardines in all her meals. It's just so incredible uh, with the omega-3 fatty acids. And what I did is I, I chopped the sardines up to help it um, in the food processor, because if I dump the four sardines in here whole, I'm not going to be guaranteed that it's all going to get um, all mixed up. These sardines, they have the bones in it. That's totally fine because they're teeny tiny bones and they are going to get pulverized anyway by the uh, food processor. All right, so that's it. Did I put everything in? I hope I did. I'm just going to whiz this up and see what happens. All right, hold on. Let me get my spatula. Why can't I find my spatula? Oh, dear. I'll have to look for it a little bit. I need to buy some more spatulas. Okay, so I want to feel it. Okay, that feels good. It's not dry, so I don't need to add anything else to this. <clears throat> All right, so just hold on and I'll show you what else I'm gonna do. Let me shut this off for a second.
Okay, so now I'm gonna get a little pan. This is not an eight and a half pan. This is a smaller one. And I have some parchment paper. Parchment paper is your friend. I love it. And now I'm just gonna pour this, that mixture on here. I did add two more tablespoons of bone broth. I thought it was just a little too sticky. Again, I'll have the recipe on my new. Okay, so I had to work with this dough a little bit. You have to have patience. You wanna spread it out, have it um, equal thickness. And now I'm gonna put it in the oven. Okay, so once they're all cooled, I get a pizza cutter and I'll cut them up. And I'm gonna stick this in the freezer. You don't want them to be sticking together because um, then they'll stick once they're frozen. And then once they're frozen, you can dump them all into a container and keep them in your freezer. I only keep like four in the refrigerator because there's no preservatives in them. And these are nice and cake-like. Um, and therefore, this little girl, where are you? Oh yeah. Oh, you want one, don't you?